So sometimes I make a mess. Okay, maybe more than sometimes. So this is a Lemco Compact 5 lathe that I had started putting together maybe f two years ago. And it was kind of a proof of another proof of concept. I wanted to see if I could use these AMC drives here. Because they're kind of a little odd in that they take they don't take plus or minus 10 volts, they take um, pulse width modulation straight. Um, so it's pulse width modulation and direction. So I thought I had this well, in front of the hard drive that's just laying there. I had a Mesa 5i25 that I thought I'd see, you can see, using a cheap breakout board and run the drives. Which started out easy enough and then it was like, hey that kind of works. So I started just jamming stuff in here without really much thought and uh, I got to the point where it was, um, I was playing around the spindle. There's actually a, another AMC drive down there that uh, is going to run the DC spindle. That's right there. You can see it. So that's a, just a uh, permanent magnet DC brushed motor. Uh, it's more than enough for this, this little lathe. And once I started playing around with that, I started getting noise issues. Because, surprise, there are no grounds hooked up. Here's a ground, and grounds all over the place. Because I never, I never set up a um, tie block point. I think I, I think I hooked two grounds in here, maybe. But, yeah, not so great. So, I started at the beginning, and and you can see in here an actual plug and switch and fuse. So that's coming up here. These, these, that's these three wires. And I'm going to start wiring this back together with, you know, actual thought. Now that I know it, it works pretty good. So... Um, part of the reason, um, so I wanted to do servos because the steppers that come with these are, are pretty power, they don't, they're not hybrid, so they have, uh, and they're only like 72 steps per rev. So I replaced them with these little itty bitty, um, Pitman motors that came with encoders already on them. So this is, um... I think they're 500 lines, so that'd be 2,000 counts per revolution. So, and I, I tuned these before I gave up on this two years ago, and they were amazingly easy to tune, and using this pulse width modulated amplifier. And I was getting following years of 8 tenths of a tenth. Does that make sense? So four zeros and an eight was the peak following error, error. So I was pretty happy with that. And so I, n now that I'd been playing with the um, polygon turning, I wanted to actually set up this lathe again and goof around with that for actual lathe motion um, instead of just using my mill as a lathe. So I think I'm back to this project for a little while, kind of a squirrel thing and uh, we'll see how this turns out but uh, got a lot of dressing up and wiring correctly to do to make this all work so all right so I got the minimum hooked up so that I could see if the servos are still working so we're going to I'm gonna CNC And I'm going to maximize this. This is a really old install. Well, it's Wheezy. It's Debian Wheezy. But uh, I would probably switch this over to something newer if the latency is good enough. Um, so. That 
pulls all the power supplies turn on for like the servos and the spindle if I had it plugged in, but I don't because I was having problems with that. But I do have a um, a uh, grounding block in and I'm starting to hook grounds in and I have a decent, you saw the decent uh, power in now with a switch and a fuse, so it's getting there. So. This is the servos, and right now the home switches, this is a home switch, and then there's one here. So I can home this. And then we can jog it around. I have soft limits set up, so... That's 150 inches per minute. I don't know what, um, what the maximum would be for this, but for this little machine, uh, 150 inches per minute is more than fast enough. The two inches of travel in that axis are... You you get there in two seconds. So, uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. At least what I had done so far was still working, and um, the following air is still pretty darn darn low. I don't know if I can do this here quick. There we go. So. And, and like I say, I, I'm not 100% sure um, if I can do this any better. Um, so this is 20 micro, micro inches per division. So we got 20, 40, 60, so 70 micro inches. So that'd be four zeros and an eight, or four zeros and a seven. Um, so yeah, I'm so far pretty happy with how this is performing. It might be a little squirrely, you can hear it a little bit um, dancing, but the dancing is, you know, well here, let's roll it and see what that is. So. It's probably dancing between encoder counts. That is um, less than 20, so uh, yeah, about it's about 20 microns or 20 micro inches, plus or minus. Um, of it searching and look at I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to spin the I'm trying to move the pinion of the servo with my finger and we're still getting you know and there it quieted down there's a little dead band in this but it could be more but sometimes dead band causes other issues so um I don't know. Like I say, this is relatively new as far as me playing with this setup. I had pretty much just got it running, got pretty decent following air, and that's where I left it. And once I started having other issues and then other things came up, so I uh, kind of put this on, on a back burner and and uh, now I want to play around with it a little, but uh, that's pretty amazing. Like, I got... I don't know if you can see, I have my finger and I can reach in to the servo and I can do that here too, but you wouldn't see it. But um, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to move the little pinion um, gear on the servo with my finger and it's not, it's fighting to beat hell. Yeah, I give up. Anyway, so yeah, I'm 
I'm excited. It's still uh, still kicking, and uh, maybe a little more playing around and and uh, get the rest of the stuff set up, and hopefully do some videos of the polygon turning and and maybe some constant surface and stuff like that, because that should all work with the variable, the DC servo, well it's, it's a DC motor, but um, it all but worked like a servo um, with the drive I have, and I gotta get a spindle encoder in this, so, so yeah, alright, later.